Back in April, when I was leaving a camping trip at Chiha State Park, I noticed a gravel road that I'd never seen before. And curiosity got the best of me, so I started exploring the road. And it wasn't long before I noticed that it led to County Road 600-2. That was an off-road track that I'd seen online before and I'd planned on exploring in the future, but I never knew it was so close to my favorite camp spot. I didn't have time to explore it that day, but I knew I'd come back some other time and try to make a video there. And I did come back. I came back several times. I even drove the entirety of 600-1 and camped there overnight on a trip to Tennessee. But for various reasons, I just never was able to capture a video of me exploring that area. And today I wanted to make that right. I set out to connect 600-1 to 600-2 up to the Skyway motorway into Adams Gap. And so with that in mind, I loaded the Jeep up, I threw on a podcast, and I hit the road. is about four hours away from my place. Two of those hours are on the interstate and the other two are on well-maintained paved county highways. Airing down is a must on trails like this. I know it doesn't look like much now, but through making these videos, I've noticed that there's usually three versions of a trail. There's the trail you see from behind the steering wheel, which can be terrifying. There's the trail you see when you get out to check your line, which is usually more reassuring. And then there's the trail you see when you're watching these videos. And that trail makes you kind of wonder if maybe you were worried about nothing at all. There are usually one or two good mud holes on this trail when I come up here. But to be honest, I generally avoid them. My only means of self-recovery are some knockoff traction boards that I found on Amazon. And the only people I know who are capable and willing to help me live four hours in either direction. And honestly, that informs a lot of the decisions I make on the trail. Though, I've been on this trail so much recently that I find myself growing bored with some of the main obstacles. And so for the sake of the video, and my own curiosity, I decided to take the risk. Don't let the lack of scenic overlooks in this video confuse you. 
there are definitely one or two great spots to stop and take in the views. Sherman Cliffs is great. There's also an abandoned fire tower that I'd like to hike to in some cooler weather. So you can rest assured that once autumn hits, I'll be back to do a closer in-depth look at this trail and some of the attractions on it. The trail also has a lot of dispersed camping areas. They're all free as far as I know and keep you far away from the crowds that you might find down the road at Chiha State Park. The last half of 600-1 is all flat gravel road. You could access that end of the trail from Ashland Highway 77, and any two-wheel drive vehicle could make it far enough up the path to see any of the points of interest that I mentioned earlier in the video. The tree cover here provided enough shade for me to get out and take some photos, and so that's where most of the pictures came from on this trip. Six hundred dash two is about half the distance of dash one, but what it lacks in mileage, it makes up for in obstacles. This road is a lot rockier and more washed out than its predecessor. I didn't see any cool camp spots or overlooks on this road, but I see it as a necessary connection between my starting point and Chiha State Park. I'm sure I'll be using this route from now on when I come up here to camp in the fall. If you enjoyed any of the photos in this video, the link to my Instagram will be in the description box below. I'll also link my Pexels account where you can download free 4K wallpaper versions of some of my favorite photos. I appreciate you watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one.